How you doing, guys? So hopefully you're having a great day so far, and thank you for tuning into these videos, and it means a lot. So I want to do a special shout out because this video is dedicated to someone who commented to my Sopatura reaction video that I did a few weeks ago. Rest in peace, 2490. Thank you for suggesting this uh, band. I've never heard this band before, so full disclaimer right there. So if you like what you see on my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give it this video a like and also turn on the notification bell down below to be notified of upcoming videos I release in this channel. I never heard of this song before. Apparently this band called Creator has been around for over 42 years. So I'm gonna check out this one song called Love Us or Hate Us. They're a thrash metal band for what I was able to see at Wikipedia. And I've never heard this band before. So let's check them out and let's start looking at this video. So again, this is the song Love Us or Hate Us. Here we go. Nice. Oh yeah, very fresh metal. And they're custom. <laughs> okay. So the drummer, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There you go. Classic fresh metal beat. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna stop it right there real quick. So uh, basically how you do these blast beats is just mainly it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four or one, two, three, four, one, two, hitting the kick either the one or the three or depending how fast you're going with things sometimes they might have a different count for them. Sometimes it might play within those 16 note subdivision. If you didn't see my last uh, reaction video about uh, Nate Smith, I go a little bit in depth about subdivisions, but just a recap of that. Uh, subdivisions, one again and two again. Sometimes when you play death metal or all these more uh, faster uh, tempos, you have a tendency of playing within those subdivisions, okay? Uh, but it depends on the band and what you try to strive for. I mean, I need to get better at that myself and finding the right techniques. I don't know how Eli Casangrande, maybe I might do a reaction video. If you want to see something like that, just let me know. Um, but I'm definitely working on that myself. So let's go back to this. I think they're starting back on the verse, if I'm not mistaken. All right, here we go. Kind of a breakdown over here. I like this breakdown right here. It's really cool. There's a double kick pedal we just heard. A single stroke. Okay. So it seems like they're slowing down a little bit. We'll see. I don't know. It might surprise me with something cool. Okay, double pedal. Here we go. Two and three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and a. Sounds like the drummer is playing 30 second notes on the double kick pedal. Then back to 60 notes. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and 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 two, and three, and four. So, yeah. So, just to get you started um, playing double pedal stuff, start the, the basics. You could do what I normally do when I'm teaching my students and giving my lessons at uh, Rockstars at Tomorrow, I always start giving my warm-ups, and I don't do this with them, but I do this by myself. 
you can start implementing it yourself. I, I do a warm up called eight. So I do eight hits or eight strokes on each hand, go around the drum set. And at the same time, I'm playing the downbeats on my feet. So left, or in this case, right, left, right, left, right, left. One and two and three and four and one and two and something like that. You know, get you started doing something like that yourself. All right. Then you move on to eighth notes, one and two and three and four. And then you can move up to doing 60 notes, one E and a two E and a three and a four E. Then like you hear on this song right here uh, for Love Us or Hate Us, then you could start looking into how do you do those 30 second notes, you know, or those triplet 60 notes uh, and whatnot. Uh, but what also helps me too is listening to other drummers too. And um, I'm sure this is a no brainer because if you've been playing the drums or at least getting started to play the drums, if you're a beginner, this is what I would recommend you do. Look at other drummers and how they play their parts, you know, like really be mindful of what they do. Or if you're doing a cover or one of their songs, maybe it might be from Eloy Casagrande for um, the song Six. It's now he's in Slipknot. All right. So how does he play his stuff? How does he play his double pedal? The guy's insane. Um, but this is something just to dive in deeper and give you a better explanation how to play your double pedal. All right. Or at least improve your double pedal skills. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're almost done with the song. It's about three minutes and 44 seconds. We're actually in two minutes and 17 seconds. So let's get back right into the video. Okay. There you go. It's a catchy little riff. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Now they're speeding things up a little bit, making it think they're more interesting. Okay. Okay, that's good. And when I say that's good, I mean actually what the lyrics said, love us or haters, it doesn't matter, nothing to me uh, if I got that right. And, you know, hey, it's a good little life tip for you to apply to, you know. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Here we go. Good Tom run. Okay. But the end of the song. How they got to end it? All right. And that's the last of it. All right, cool. My thoughts about it. Well, to be honest, I didn't see it to be too catchy for me, but there was a section of the song, I might have to go back in here, that had a really good catchy riff. Uh, I think it was like it went, um, you know, I think that's where uh, the drummer was doing Hurt Us on this double pedal, which is really cool. And if you're able to apply that too, that's going to make you sound great as well and just having that foot control too is also important when you play your double pedal like i said you're playing double pedal you're playing metal for the first time or at least you might be intermediate or whatever level you may be in always remember to be mindful of your counts and your timing and stuff like that um because no matter what tempo you play either fast or slow or you know depending on your decision of how you want to approach the song, make sure you're following the tempo of your bandmates, you know, or setting the right tempo that you feel most comfortable with and allowing your bandmates to follow your tempo as well. Okay. I hope that is helpful for you as well. If you're playing in a band, you're not pulling each other's hairs or getting in each other's faces because of creative 
decisions or whatnot. I've been there myself, and it's not pretty, okay? But other than that, you guys, so that's the song Creator, Love Us or Hate Us. It sounded pretty cool. Again, I didn't seem too catchy for at least vocally. Um, but, I mean, these guys seem like they've made a mark in metal um, or at least contributed to the metal scene, especially the thrash metal scene. All right? Cool. All right, you guys. So I'll just leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and also give me some suggestions, too, of what other videos and artists you'd like me to check out, react to. I'd like to learn and, you know, and share with you guys my thoughts as well, the best I can, about how these drummers are playing their parts and stuff. And, you know, try to keep it as simple as possible, nothing too technical and stuff. But anywho, I got more links down below. So you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I also have a free newsletter down below, and I also published a book, which I do also have an audiobook. All those links will be down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. And for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, one of my videos did have about 3,000 views, which was my Super Toro reaction video. Thank you guys so much. And God bless you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Take care, guys. Bye.